body and boxy nose. There's no heart, like a Mexican heart. Maybe it's in the DNA. The Aztec warriors, the code of war was fight to the death and embrace it. If you hit me, I'm hitting you twice as hard. I'm not losing this fight. You will kill me before I lose. Right. Especially because I'm a Navarro. Our Navarro legacy is a big thing in the sport of boxing. My dad got here in the late 50s from Langostura, Michoacan, Mexico, where we grew up in South Central. It was very, very, very dangerous. Boxing was our dad's way of trying to keep his kids off the street. He lived it. We ate it, we slept it. it, it was all boxing. He knew he had something special in his boys and he went all in with us. I remember vividly seeing my dad count his $2 bills just to be able to buy us an orange juice and a piece of beef jerky after the gym. Boxing is a poor man's sport. You're not gonna get a kid that has a trust fund that's gonna wanna step into the ring and get hit to make a living. What fuels us uh, to be great fighters and great boxers is that we've experienced the poverty. We figured if we're gonna make it out of here, we're gonna fight our way out. So he did. He has a son that was an Olympian. He has another son that was a two-time world champion. And he has a son that retired undefeated and was able to continue the legacy with my daughter. I think about my grandfather every day because of how much he loved the sport of boxing. When I'm training, I think about him and how proud he would be of me. She knows that he's the one that got this boxing thing going, even though she never met him. When my dad passed away, um, he was at the house where we grew up in South Central. Uh, I remember that day vividly because my sister called me. Nacho, he thinks it's time. I remember my dad holding my hand and squeezing my hand and giving me a look and telling me, Nacho, cuidas a tu mamá. Un 23 de septiembre perdí lo que más quería. And I stopped boxing. I just felt like, you know what? It's, it's not the same. Fue la vida de mi padre como recuerdo ese día. Como lloraba mi madre y mis hermanas queridas. Chantel knows we carry him in our hearts. Carlos Navarro Segura, un hombre con mucho valor. Él entrenaba a sus hijos para el boxeo y con honor. Dad, should we go see Grandpa? Yeah, let's go. She's excited to go and shadow box for her grandpa. It's in our blood. Any Navarro has it. They can just box. When Chantel approached me that she wanted to start boxing, I was upset at her. I mean, I'll say it straight out. Like, it didn't sit well with me. I believe I got a little angry with her and told her not to ever ask me that ever again. It's a brutal sport. It's a blood sport. I did the sport of boxing so my kids wouldn't have to follow the same footsteps. 
She was playing soccer and I was happy with that. And I had goals for them. You get a scholarship, you live a happy life. Boom, you're good. You're good to go. She would beg and beg her dad and, and her dad would say no. And then he, he finally gave in. He said, ask your mother. I told my husband, let her feel what it's like to get hit. The biggest fear in boxing to get over is getting hit. You control the rhythm. You set the tone. It was very different from what soccer was, because soccer, you're not getting hit in the face. I remember Chantel sparring with the first time ever with her cousin, Steven. And after three, she started crying. I told my cousin, you know what, we're good, we're good. I was like, this is it? Man, she's gonna go back to soccer. I asked her, hey, Mija, how did you feel when you got hit? Were you scared? Were you nervous? I was nervous a little bit. I wasn't scared. Uh, but next time, when I spar, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And then I was like, OK, she has it. tells me to push through and use my heart. The bond between Chantel and her father is very special because he was in the sport. He understands that not every day is going to be a magical day. My first national title, for a couple weeks, my dad was pushing me, pushing me, pushing me. If we speak things into existence, it's because you feel confident of the hard training that you've done to lead up to here and she won. We're in the, in the car, we're gonna go get dinner. And she just leaned her head and put it on my shoulder and told me, I love you, daddy. That right. He pushes me and I'm very thankful for that because not everybody has that. I see what he sacrifices, see that, and I have so much respect for him. You know, just the little things like that. You know, just make it all worth worth it at the end, you know? And no check, no check, no money in the world can ever take that. That's the most rewarding. But just that little gesture that she did just sits with me. And I'm doing this so I can have a future for me and my future family. I did this for you. You got to do better for your kids. And your kids' kids have to do better than your kids. We win that tournament, Miha. We're going with good momentum to Germany. That would be ideal to win that tournament, too. Then that would separate you even more from the number one, you know, ranking from anybody else. Okay? Chantel picked up the boxing gloves at age 12. And in three and a half years, she's accomplished to win five national titles. And she has secured the number one spot at the junior female level at 114 pounds in the country. But the main thing that I want to accomplish is become a 2024 Olympian gold medalist. It's in her DNA. The Navarros have what it takes. Every day, every hour of the day, every minute of the day, every second of the day. This is my passion, this is where my heart is, and nothing is impossible.